How's it going? Taras here. Welcome to another episode of our running series on OSA TV, What is a Coral? An exciting series where we take all the different corals, the shapes, the sizes, the rocks, the tree-like things, and we break them up into little digestible families so that when you walk into the store, you know what you're looking at and you know what questions to ask and you know how to begin to start making the aquascape of your dreams. So today we're gonna to be talking about, I think a humble coral family, but one of my favorite coral families. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Nephtheidae. They call it the cauliflower coral family, but that can be a little misleading. This is the family that includes the Kenyan tree coral or the Capnella. So, so this is a really cool uh, family of corals because they are widespread throughout the world, in cold environments off the Atlantic coast. Some of them are really warm, turbid environments like off the coast of Kenya. And it's really cool because in some of these really turbid estuarine environments full of freshwater discharge and phytoplankton and sediment, that's where these corals are able to thrive. They can deal with lower lights and they have all these different mouths for just feasting and absorbing all those different organisms, bacteria, absorbing nitrates and phosphates as well. So the Capnella, a uh, really cool, hardy uh, coral species. A couple things to note, they do require uh, at least favor higher levels of nitrates. So, you know, a refugium would probably be an appropriate place for this if you're running too clean of a tank. Otherwise, they're really good for uh, putting in with things that I would consider to be not reef safe fish because uh, they are relatively resistant to coral grazing from at least things like puffers and angels, at least that I've observed. If you see them getting a little bit sad, you know, maybe move it a little bit closer to your sand bed or consider uh, feeding uh, it directly because these guys are sensitive to over illumination. It's enough of me jibber jabbering. You know, we're gonna check in with uh, Eli in the trenches about this, uh, this cool coral family. Hey there, Eli again to give you a closer look at the uh, Nephtheidae, the Kenyan tree corals and the Nephtheas. As Taras was kind of mentioning earlier, this is one of the easiest corals to get away with in a lot of aquariums. Definitely a great beginner or something for a tank that you kind of want to run on autopilot, something that you don't want to always have to be testing for like alkalinity, calcium. They're really not that picky of a coral. So uh, a lot of aquariums are, are great for these corals and they're usually pretty prolific under a wide variety of conditions. They do generally prefer lower light, lower flow, low moderate in both categories however they're pretty adaptable and they'll grow under a, a wide variety of conditions one thing with the kenya tree corals is they are pretty prolific in terms of reproduction in aquariums they can basically drop pieces of their own foot and spread pretty quickly throughout an aquarium so keeping them in an area where you don't mind filling it in with these corals is kind of the best method to go with because they can spread pretty quickly with a lot of the leather corals it's important to run things like carbon or some other chemical filtration in your filter because they are prone to chemical warfare with other corals as they release toxins on occasion. So running carbon, running something like Max out in your aquarium at all times is a good idea if you have a lot of leather corals to kind of mitigate this issue in your aquarium. As opposed to the Capnella or the true Kenya trees, which usually are kind of a shade of pink or brown, sometimes you do come across nicer varieties of Nephthia corals, brighter greens, brighter blues, which is kind of cool, adds a little bit more color, but the care usually stays about the same. This family does also contain one of the most notoriously difficult corals known as the carnation coral. It's a beautiful coral. If you ever do come across them, they're usually a nice bright shade of orange, pink, or red. However, these look very similar to the Kenya trees, but they are non-photosynthetic, so they strictly need to be fed. This is one coral that is a very unique one to be able to add to your aquarium. Uh, but I would definitely do so with caution because they need a lot of attention in terms of feeding. Uh, they're notoriously very difficult to keep care of. In terms of farming and aquaculture, this is a very uh, good specimen, any of the Nephthia corals for farming because they grow very quickly. Like I said earlier, they're pretty prolific in terms of splitting on their own, uh, but they are very conducive to cutting. Uh, pretty easy to cut with just like a pair of sharp scissors or a clean blade. The one problem is getting them to settle. As with most leather corals, one of the easiest ways to get them to settle to a usable piece or a plug is to uh, kind of set up a cup with maybe some rubble stone in a low flow area of the tank and then add all your fresh cuttings to that cup and kind of allow them a couple weeks to grab a piece of rubble on their own before you decide to glue them down to a plug. Overall, the Kenya trees and the Nephthias, a great beginner coral, a really cool coral to fill in some space and add some nice flow to your tank and a coral that's really not gonna need very much attention in most aquarium settings. 
As always, thank you for watching. Let us know if you have any questions, any suggestions for future videos in the comments, and uh, like and subscribe.